Hey, good afternoon or good morning, depending on when you're watching this, uh, or good night, I guess, depending on when you're watching this video. Today, I'm gonna uh, on this video, I'm gonna talk about box plots and how do we draw a box plot, sometimes called a box and whisker plot, and um, and writing the five number summary and some of the other things that are important with box plots. So. Uh, I'm just going to run through this one example here, and I'm also going to I'll show you how to do it by hand, and then I'm going to also show you how to do it in the TI Inspire. Following our home runs hit during the 10 seasons for a certain minor league baseball player. All right, we have 10 things. Construct the box plot of these data and state the IQR. So the first thing we're going to do is put these guys in order, from least to greatest. So we're going to we're going to say uh, 8, 13, 14. 16, 23, 26, 28, 33, 39, and 64. Um, and you know, it looks like he, you know, got really started well. Something happened, then started doing really well again, and then started his decline. Let's go ahead and, 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 and create the box plot. Now, before we can create the box plot, we need something called the five number summary. Okay, the five number summary, to find that, you need to find the min, the, the first quartile, the median, the third quartile and the max. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. That's the five number summary. So how do we do that? Well, we'll do this by hand here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got ten things. So to find the median, we're gonna go to the middle. And that's gonna be uh, one, two, three, four, five. So it's gonna be right in here, right? So we're gonna take 23 plus 26 and divide that by two. And that's going to give me um, 24 and a half. So my median is 24.5. My min is 8. My max is 64. Uh, now we find the first quartile. Okay, so here's our median. So we got to go halfway in between our median. 1, 2, 1, 2. Here's quartile 1. Okay, right there. Oops, what am I doing? 14, there we go. And quartile three, one, two, one, two is right here. All right, so that's Q3, 33. All right, so now with this information, I'm gonna go ahead and, and draw my, uh, my dot, my uh, box plot. So we're gonna draw line four, my, oops, that's not what I want to do. Back here, um, I'm gonna draw a line for my my axes, and uh, let's go by um, 10, 20, 30, 40. Let's go by fives. So five, 10. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. Okay? So uh, now we got our scale. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to find Q1. Okay, find Q1 on here. Q1 is 14. And right there, we're going to draw a line. Okay, so that's Q1. Q1 is 14. Then we're going to go to our median, 24 and a half, which is right here. And we're going to draw another line. Then we're gonna to go to our Q3, which is right here, 33. And we're gonna draw another line. Okay, 
Then we're going to connect those. And we've got our box, which is going to tell us our IQR, right? Because we know that our IQR is Q3 minus Q1. So in this case, our IQR is uh, 33 minus 14, which gives us 19. So that's our IQR. We want to complete this. Um, we want to complete this box plot. Now, one thing we need to do to complete this box plot is we're going to need to determine if there are any outliers. So we've got these things called fences, and the fences tell us where the outliers are. So you could think of uh, think of it like, um, you know, we have a, a, a yard, right? Here's my yard, and I put a fence in my yard. Anything that's inside the fence is, you know, not an outlier. Anything that's over the fence is an outlier. So let me show you how to find these fences. Because we're going to have an upper fence and we're going to have a lower fence. Okay, so um, the upper fence. To find the upper fence, we're going to take the third quartile. And we're going to add it to 1.5 times the IQR. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to get 33 plus 1.5 times 19, and that's going to give us 61.5. We're going to have a lower fence, and to find the lower fence, we're going to take Q1 and subtract 1.5 times the IQR. So that's going to give us 14 minus 1.5 times the IQR, which is 19, which is going to give us a lower fence of negative 14.5. So anything low in our data, anything lower than negative 14.5, which is not going to happen, is going to be an outlier. Anything above 61.5 is going to be an outlier. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at our data. Is there anything here that's lower than 14.5? No, there isn't. So we're going to go to our min, which was 8. And we're going to draw a line for 8 for our min, a little one, and connect it to our box. Then we're going to go to our upper fence, which is 61.5, and see if there's anything bigger than 61.5. Oh, there is. 64. So we're going to take that and we're going to make, we're going to put either a little star here or a dot showing that that's an outlier. And then we're going to see if there's any other ones. Nope, there's nothing else that's lower than 60, bigger than 61.5. Then we're going to take whatever value is is closest to 61.5. So that's going to be 39. So we're going to go to 39, just right here. And that's going to be the end of our whisker. And we're going to title this um, Home Runs. For a minor league player. Okay, and that is our box plot. All right, we don't have a y-axis for box plots. All right, so now let's take a look at how to do this in the Inspire. So in the TI Inspire, we're going to um, add a list and spreadsheet, and we're going to go and title this Home Runs. And we're just going to we're going to enter in all these data. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and enter in all these data. After I enter in all these data, they don't need to be in order, but they're in order in, in this case. Okay, after I enter in these data, I'm going to go into, um, I'm going to add a new page. So control doc to add a new page. Let me make this a little bigger for you guys here. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Um, we're going to add a data and statistics. Okay, this gives us all our data. On the bottom, we're going to click and we're going to add our variable, home runs. Then we're going to click menu, plot type, box plot, and we'll get our box plot. Okay, so notice here we have our min, which is 64. The nice thing is if you hover over the 
the plot, it'll give you the min, or I'm sorry, the max. It'll give you the max. If you hover over here, it'll give you the next point, which is 39, which is that so we got when we did it up by hand. If you hover here, it'll give you your third quartile, Q3. If you hover in here, it'll give you your median. If you hover over here, it'll give you your first quartile. And over here, you'll give you your eight, which is your min. So you can you can draw it in your calculator and then you know just paste, basically um, you're gonna like you know cut and paste this. Well, you know, you can't do a cut and paste if you do it by hand in your drawing, but you can look at it and you can draw exactly what you see here and make sure that you label your five number summary, and that, that should be good enough. Um, the important thing is not um, how you draw it, it's that you draw it right and that you um, you can identify and, and, and make comparative and do some analysis given the context of which this you know box plot represents. All right, so that's uh, box plots, five number summary, how to find the IQR, doing it in the calculator and by hand. That's it for me. We'll talk to you later. Bye.